Alright folks, welcome back to the Ratchet and Clank 2 playthrough and oh, we, it's been a long time since I went back to this and yep, I'm shooting a lot of ducks down because why it's for skill points by the way folks, so yep, and I haven't got the skill point yet so I need to make sure that I do get the skill point. I'm just trying to see if I can, oh we got one. So I've just got to make sure that I get close to the ones there, but I have to bite off these uh, these those Neanderthals just right there. Looks like they've spotted me, so it looks like I am going to give them the rocket. So yeah, folks, in this stage there is a there there is a. Um, well, I gotta shoot this duck. There is, of course, a skill point which you have to uh, you have to defeat every enemy using the, uh, the Omni Wrench, which is basically called Wrench Ninja Two. But apparently, unfortunately, I wasn't able to uh, get the. Um, to, the uh, I'm not able to get it yet because you know, for some reason, for some reason, however, my um, my little, my, uh, oh, sorry about that. The wrench isn't very powerful, unfortunately, because, well, I have to wait it out until I've got better armor, and I've also got a better, and I've also got a better wrench to, uh, you know, to melee everyone with. Basically, melee everyone to death. But it won't happen until after I've done, cleared the, um, the make. The, the Fugs prison, which is going to come a little bit later down the line in this story, so yeah. So apparently so far in the story, we just found out that Fugs for Less have got a brand new employer, but we won't find that out until in the next part when the twist of the tale comes. But apparently, it'll, it, apparently, it's definitely. I think it. I think we'll find that out when we get to but we before we get to Planet Bolden. All right. So we got the the bird. All right. Make. Oh, I got that. I made that count, and I got the skill point. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't do that. Oh, oh, for God's sake! I'm getting shot at. Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear. I got no rockets left. All right. Don't you don't you shoot at me like that, mister. You, you don't you know it's inconsiderate to shoot at Lombaxes who are trying to save the world? Honestly. Right. Uh-oh, we got these two... Got those two, 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 basically... No, uh, those those ones are back. But you remember those things from Barlow? Yep, they're back. As well. Right, let's get the Seeker gun out. Got him. He's down. All right, so let's get that dynamo back out, and uh, we we need to we need to get we need to move up forward. Of course, I haven't got much ammo left, which is a bit of a shame. I could have. There should be. And that, here's the thing about this game: like in future games, you get the option to get all your ammo in the third game. In the in the third game onwards, which of course is. What happens, which is a big quality of life improvement in Ratchet Clank 3, with, um, up your arsenal, which is what it is known as in Australia, and just Ratchet Clank up your arsenal in the United States. But, but basically, what happens is you have to basically get all your ammo separately by clicking on an individual, uh, in clicking on anything individual. So, yes, that's it. Um, unfortunately, that's where the flaw comes in. All right, we got to the continue point. So, all 
So it looks like we're going to have to get the Seeker gun. Alright. And everybody's going to shoot at me because... God damn it. Oh, for God's sake, no! I don't want you to fly me off. God damn it. Wow, can I just say... What can I say? <sighs> Ouch! I think one of them wanted to try and shoot me. <sighs> yeah, they basically ambushed me so that I can... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They actually came out of the... How could they... How on earth were they able to hide knowing that I was about to come up? <laughs> Dear me. Ambush. That's my... That's my only answer to that logic. Ambush. Well, they must use the Seacoat gun against these things. Got him. Right, so now that's that done, let's... Uh-oh, we know what... Oh, for God's sake. Oh my God, he had to do that, didn't he? He did that deliberately. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All right, so now that's that done... All right, so let's go down and I think we know who we're meeting up with, the Shady Salesman. Hey, you two going to the games? Yeah, what's it to you? Whoa, take it easy, Chief. I ain't looking for no trouble. Just an honest man looking to make an honest muck. I sincerely doubt that. Hey, I ain't the one trying to get into a sold-out arena. You're going to need this levitator to get in there. Ooh, levitator. 20,000 balls? Ugh. Damn it. We're going to have to buy it, haven't we? We've got no other choice but to buy it. Nice doing business with you again. Time for me to, uh, relocate. Hmm. The instructions are in Blargian. Goodbye. <laughs> and it says here, tab A goes into slot B. Okay, and then magnetize the graviton matrix, remove your left arm, block, and done. You do have skills. You know it. <laughs> Stand on the levitator. We all know that he has skills. Fly. Hold down X to gain altitude. The levitator stops functioning when the fuel meter is empty. I wonder if we got anything. If it, oh no, that was a, that was a mess. That was an accident. I swear to God, that was an accident. God damn it! Oh, wait a minute, I was already at the continue points anyway? Damn, the game was generous to basically respawn me there. Alright, let's go and enter the battle arena, shall we? Are you ready for the main event? Introducing one of the fiercest gladiators in the galaxy. Ratchet and some metal guy. They'll be lucky if you survive against the toughest lead heaters in the galaxy. Let's get it on. And indeed, let's get it on. So the first round is, of course, eight rounds. And, of course... Ouch. Well, that wasn't nice. So basically... In order to get through these rounds, once we get through these rounds, we get, of course, another brand, another pot, another another gadget in order to uh, be able to get us to progress in the game. Oh, I got vaporizer ammo, but that's not going to help much. I've got to use the seeker gun. Come on, out of my way. Out of my way. Mini rocket tube. Oh yes, come on. I need that. So it looks like I'm gonna have to use the, the, the unfortunate as I check my Ammo, uh, the ammo count is very low for the uh, 
Volcano going. So sadly, though, I have no choice but to. But to instead, I'm going to have to use my wrench, haven't I? Get out of my way. Oh, Ouch! That wasn't very nice. You having to. That was a bit of a stitch up, wasn't it? God damn you. There we go. Ooh, another. Ouch. I'm trying to get myself some distance. No. Rockets to mini rockets, please. Ouch, I am nearly dead. But I'm still cracking through it. Yes! Now that's that done. Oh, I got gravity boots. So basically, I could be able to go to uh, to walk on the... Gravity oh, boots wait a minute. To walk or jump I wasn't meant to do that. Yes. So with the gravity boots, we could be able to go through, you know, any magnetic surface we couldn't previously go to because we didn't get it. So now we have to get the infiltrator. But first, let's let's do some let's do some through let's do a bit of shopping. Let's do a bit of shopping and get the infiltrator. We here we go now. That's that done. So now I can get be able to start doing some. Let's go get some of these guys. Weesh! I am now ready to get that. So I think I'm going to upgrade the volcano gun. Pretty much, I think the volcano gun is ready to. Uh, is ready to. Uh, is ready to get upgraded. Okay. Oh, we nearly, we nearly beat, I nearly upgraded the thing. I nearly upgraded my weapon and I couldn't even do it yet. Oh, the infiltrator's ours. Yes! So now we can get through that lock. We can get through certain locks. Oh, yeah. Use the left analog stick to pick a path for the green circuit. Connect the circuit back to the start to open the lock. Nice finish on that chrome. Uh, you buffed this out yourself? I handle my own buffing, sir. Oh, sorry, little man. I thought you was a crankshaft. <laughs> Can't see my own hand in front of my face without these. <laughs> no problem. So, how do I enter the big race? Well, you got the helmet, you're in. Easy peasy. The prize this time is some kind of special boots. I could use those myself. They go real nice with my leather chaps. Oh, really? We'll see about that. Anyway, that being said, let's get up with the amateur circuit for, of course, the the special boots. But, of course, since I am way ahead of the whole entire competition, I am going to win this one. All right. All right, winner. That's right. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Or finders, keepers, losers, weepers. 
Nice. Dang, I wanted these boots myself. But they'll look real nice with your outfit. You can race again, you know. Now the prize is a bunch of bolts. Oh yeah, so basically with that being said, we have the charge boots. So the charge boots are basically the special boots and allows you to actually, you know, boost a little faster. Be able to charge off a little faster. So yeah, that's what happens. You have, you have to you have to use the charge boots and you'll be able to get it where in a heartbeat. That's what we ha what ha that's what happens. All right, with that being said, we're going to go back right back to our ship and ooh, we haven't seen these behind my ship. Well, basically they're just little well hidden. <laughs> Alright, so now that's the end of this part. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time for when I'm going to take on the next, the deep space disposal facility and continue on with the story. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next part of the Ratchet and Clank 2 playthrough. So, see you guys in the next part.